everyone. My name is Heather and welcome to the channel Bookables. Today I'm here to share with you my spring TBR. I don't do monthly TBRs anymore because I'm very much a mood reader and I just read whatever I feel like. I do have a little bit of a list I do for myself at the end, at the beginning of every month. Does that list go well or not? You'll never know. <laughs> but I do like to do a seasonal one of these for the next few months just to kind of get a broad perspective of what I like to read. So today I'm doing my spring TBR and that means the month of spring here in the US, March, April, and May, aka some rainy times, but it gets warmer. So my soul is happy. I very much hate winter. A lot of people really don't like spring or summer. I love it. I think it's because I'm a mom and I try to get outside with my kids as much as possible. I love sunshine. I love flowers. I'm going to plant like I'm not even kidding hundreds of flowers this year because they bring me happiness. So I'm ready for spring. I truly am. And that means some lighter books, some stuff like that. It's nothing different. So for my seasonal TBRs, if you will, I always start off with new releases because I do always try to make a commitment to check out new releases. And then I have a list of backlist books I would like to get to. Will I get to all these books I'm going to mention today? Absolutely not. If I get to a quarter of them, I'll be happy. So let's get into it. We're going to start off with new releases first. So first up we have Happily Never After by Lynn Painter. This one's coming out this month. Might already be out. A girl that is engaged but she doesn't want to get married because her fiance is horrible but she can't call off the wedding because of her father-in-law. So she hires this guy that stands up at the part of the wedding where they say, does anyone object to this marriage? And he's like, I object. That's his job. She hires him to stop the wedding and that's what he does. And so when he, when she hires him, she realizes, hey I want to get in on this I want to do this too and so they start to work together and it just kind of goes from there and it sounds like a really unique book and I really do enjoy Lynn Painter's romances they're just so cozy and fluffy and cute and I love stuff like that. A murder <laughs> A totally different turn um, by Simone St. James this is a mystery thriller about it's set in the 90s it's about a couple that gets lost and goes down this really kind of weird road and they see somebody on the side and they pick them up and the person starts bleeding in their car and when they get to the hospital the person dies so um <laughs> but you'll never get lost again um and then they become a part of an investigation because the person died you know in their car and this road apparently what they were on a lot of people die on so it's called murder road so <laughs> scary I'm intrigued. I love Simone St. James books. If You Hate Me by Helena Hunting. This is a new romance by her. I've read a few of her books. You guys know I love her book, Kiss My Cupcake. I love that one. This one is a hockey romance, which I've read a couple this year and I'm into it. So I'm hoping you really enjoy it. I think it's a hockey romance and a brother's best friend, which I also love that trope. I want to do a whole video of that, but I need to read more. So I'm going to read this one. Sounds cute. Then we have The Rule Book by Sarah Adams. This is her companion slash sequel novel to The Cheat Sheet. It's another kind of sports romance. This one is football. I believe it's a second chance romance and a football player and maybe somebody from his past. They are at a summer camp or something together. I think. I don't know. Sarah Adams writes clean romances, but man, they are fluffy and just like wrapped up in some cotton candy with some like sugar hearts and all that kind of stuff. You just want to just eat it all up. That is her books. Was that a horrible description? Absolutely. But nevertheless, I'm excited to read it. Now, probably my two most anticipated reads of the year I have just for the summer. Himezin. She is one of my favorite authors. I've read all of her books. There's been only one that I've read that I really haven't liked. This one sounds really good. I forget. I think it's about two characters that believe they have like this curse on them that whoever they kiss the next day the person will find their true love. You know, it's that movie with Dan Cook and Jessica Alba. And these two people have this curse and they figure out on Reddit. So they're like, maybe if we get together, we can cancel out our curses, our curses, if you will. And so they decide to do that. And then they basically have to fake date because of some family things. And that's all I know about it. And I don't need to know anything more. I don't even need to know that. I just need to know that Abby Himezen wrote it. And that's all I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Likewise with Funny Story by Emily Henry. Again, I've read all of her books. I have given all of her romance books a five out of five. Like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> so I, she could write the instructions to some macaroni and cheese and I would be like, riveting. Tell me more. Tell me how to boil this water. I love it. <laughs> 
but this is one that's about a couple I forget her name she is engaged and she always loves the way her fiance tells the story of how they met it was so cute and stuff up until he realizes that he's actually in love with his childhood best friend and he leaves her and she's like crap I have moved to this small town I forget where for you and I have nowhere else to live who does she turn to but the guy the woman that her fiance's left for ex as well they really you know what i'm saying does that make sense so i don't know their names she was engaged he said i'm not in love with you i'm in love with my childhood best friend i think her name is petra we'll just call her petra so our main character goes to petra's ex because petra is also in a relationship she's like hey can we just like live together because we have nowhere else to be and you know he's like yeah sure i'm heartbroken you're heartbroken let's do this thing and then they decide you know hey let's get some revenge maybe we should take some photos together who can blame them i can't goes from there and again if it's written by emily henry that is all I need to know, my friend. Romances, as you can tell, I'm planning to read a lot of romances this spring because honestly, they are just quick books. They're books that make me happy. And with a lot going on in my personal life right now, like a lot, I don't need any heavier books. I just, I really, really don't. <laughs> that's hard to say. I know that's stupid to say, but I just, sometimes when life gets really hard, I don't want to read about very depressing things or sometimes fantastical things that are really dark and deep. I just need to read about romance and just, that's my escape. Is That's my escape tactic and I'm sticking to it. So I have Savor It by Tara DeWitt. This is one I don't understand the plot of at all. I think it's about a fake dating thing, also with a fair or something. I don't know. I read Tara DeWitt's Funny Feelings and I loved it and I'm super excited to read this one. So that's all I need to know. Am I explaining these horribly? Absolutely. freaking lutely <laughs> I'm sorry. And the last new release I have is The Paradise Problem by Christina Lauren. This is one, it's hit or miss for me. They are books, I have read some of their books and I've loved them and I've read some of their books. I'm like, mm. so this is one I believe it's about two people that get married when they're in college to get like this affordable housing act and so they do it just to get a house and I can't fault them for that. And they thought they signed the divorce papers when college was over, but no, no, no. Years later, when the guy realizes that he's about to come into a fortune, but he has to be married and prove that he's been a successful marriage, he's like, oh, I'm already married. You know what I'm saying with this? We'll have to see how it goes. I don't know. Christina Lauren, like I said, is up and down for me. Moving on into my backlist books. I have my TBR cart right here. It is full to the brim. Take some of these off, so. Here's to hoping. First up, I have Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. This is the sequel to When in Rome. This is about a florist and a bad boy. And what spring, what screams spring other than flowers and florists? I don't know. So I'm going to read it. Then I have one I bought because everyone's been talking about it. And that is Powerless by Laura Roberts. I say... I'm gonna read cute fluffy books and I'm holding up a fantasy. This is a YA fantasy I've heard is very reminiscent to like The Hunger Games and Divergent and <laughs> don't tell me more because I'll read it. <laughs> because you guys know those are my favorites. This is quite lengthy actually. It's not too too bad. It's like 500. Let's put it on a Sarah J Mass book. Don't, don't look at those okay back there. I'll read them when I can okay. I'll read them one day. <laughs> But either way, it says hunter, hunted hunter, destined for each other. I don't know anything about it. I don't, I want to go into this one not knowing literally anything. Then I have Caught Up by Liz Tom Ford. This is her sequel to, the, well, it's part of the rainy, no, it's part of the Windy City series where the first book was hockey. The second book was football. The third one is <laughs> baseball, my favorite. So I'm planning to do this in April near opening day because your girl can't wait. I want to do a whole baseball romance reading vlog so i am so excited for this one i definitely will be reading it and then i have the fake mate by lana ferguson so when i bought this i thought it was just like they were just like it's gonna be a fake relationship you know blah 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 but then i realized that they're werewolves and they're like alpha and omega or something like that that kind of verse and i was like crap that's intriguing and i really want to read it it sounds really good i hopefully i'll love it then I have Done and Dusted by Layla Sage. I've been, ha I have this one for a while. It's a Western romance I don't know anything about, but I think it might be cowboy romances, so I'm excited for that. Heartless by Elsie Silver. This is her second book in the series. 
and it's a Western cowboy type of thing. So <laughs> can you sense a trend? I also would really love to read an Allie Hazelwood book, Live Theoretically. I have this one and I also have her YA one. These are two I still need to read by hers and I've read all of her books but these. So I'm, I just started this one. So I'm hoping to finish it very, very soon. I would like to read it. I think that's it of all the books I would like to read on my TBR card. I don't know. I could read none of these. I could read all these. I could read different ones. I, that's, you're not here for Dr. Seuss one. Either way, those are my, that's my spring TBR. Hopefully I'll accomplish it and I'll do good with it, but who's to say anymore? <laughs> I would love to know what books you're planning to read for these next three months. Please let me know if I miss any new releases because I'm sure I have. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.